that's a great point, Nick. The, the, we would not have had enough time to uh, put in the number of, of different things offensively. We, we maybe would have gotten two or three actions in, uh, but we were able to go beyond that because you do have the full week of practice, and and that was important for us. You know, we offensively we were not as good last weekend against Evansville. Uh, a lot to do with. Uh, the way they defended us and the job that they did. Uh, so we needed some we needed some practices, and we were able to get some things added during the week that were that, that were new for us. And you know, for the most part, the guys executed them pretty well. But to your point, though, it, we would not had it been a normal schedule, it it would have been hard, or we would not have been able to get it to where we needed to. Um, four, four or five, Nick, base plays. And then off of those base plays, there's some counters, anywhere from one or two up to five or six counters off of those base plays. Just how do you feel the offense looked with that, those new base plays, those new sets in there? I thought it was good for for having four practices and you know we spent a lot of time in those four practices working competitive drills so you know it wasn't like we spent all of our practice time just working the offense you know we, we spent a large portion of it doing competitive drills and uh, so with you know coming into a game you know not only with you know, for for the older guys, they've run they've run this stuff before, Nick. Uh, so these aren't brand new to our program. Uh, but for the younger guys, they are brand new to them. So the execution was good. And then the thing that I didn't know, playing against Bradley tonight, they were one of the one of the best defensive teams. Uh, their numbers uh, prove that. But I when I watch them on film, I just you know. Uh, impressed with what they've done defensively. And that's not new either. They've been doing that for a long time. So I, I, I bring that up, Nick, because I didn't know if we'd be able to execute uh, against Bradley just because they're so good defensively. And and they shut down a lot of our stuff. Um, but we did have some guys make some make some important plays and make some key shots. Yeah, you know, he, he had a couple open ones, I, I think both in the second half. Uh, opposite our bench, he had one that just missed. Um, he had another one where he had plenty of space and he might have airballed it. Uh, but, he, you know, he sticks in there and comes back. And his, I liked his comfort level, his confidence tonight. You know, that's, it's going to take some time. You know, any, anytime you're a freshman, um, it does. It takes reps. It takes games. You've got to play against different teams. You've got to play against different guys. Um, you, you've got to experience some positive things. So even you know, even with a guy like Nate, you know, he knows that he belongs. He knows he's going to have. He knows he's going to have some good stretches. He knows he's going to struggle at times. Um, but for young guys, when when things good happen, uh, that can really help them. So uh, you said it. He's a competitive kid. Uh, they, they were good all week. Uh, a couple individual conversations with with uh, each Taiwan and Trey, uh, and then we met with we met as a team two different times. Uh, so we, we've been working on it all week. I mean, you, you're talking about two really good kids. Uh, they've 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 responded well, which, which is important. Uh, you know they know that you know what. Uh, and their situations are independent of each other. Uh, you know, Taiwan knows that we got to get in the gym, we got to get some work done, and he's got to get in better shape. And, and he's been 
been open about that when he and I have talked this week. Uh, and Trey knows that that you know that just that it, the, the situation at Evansville is you know not one that he wanted to have happen. He knows it's one that's you know not going to be part of our program. Uh, and he's been he's been good all week. And then I thought down the stretch, Nick, uh, their communication, Trey's execution, and his two-man game with Fife, like they really led us that last six minutes, and and that's where we need them. Yeah, well, I don't want to tip my hand since we got a back-to-back, -back, Nick. <laughs> I got a pretty good idea of what we're going to do, Nick. Uh, but uh, we'll see where we're at come game time. But I got a pretty good idea, Nick, right now what we're going to do. Yep. Yeah, and that's that, that's a result of uh, James and Gonar are both playing well. I thought Gonar was effective, and he, he he's a good communicator. He really understands what we're trying to get done. Um, and then James did a nice job. Got off to a good start. Uh, he, you know, he's physical. Uh, so that that helped when you look at the minutes and where they're at. You know, when you've got a number of guys that are uh, are doing a good job. You know, you can leave them out there a little longer, and, and I think that's the kind of team that we need to be, Nick. We need to, to have those eight guys, and then Evan and Cole, they just got to keep getting better. You know, I think they can help us. Uh, so that was – that worked well for us tonight. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thank you. You know, I, I, I don't think so. Uh, I, I thought, you know, we, we, uh, we made a couple shots. You know, Nate hit an important three-point shot. You know, Trey banked one in. Um, I thought both teams continued to play real hard. I thought both teams executed, uh, and we were able to get a couple possessions to end in a in a basket. So we were able to finally, for us get to a two possession where we're ahead by four or five and maybe had it to six. Uh, so I don't, I, I don't think they wore down. You know, we, we took a break mid-December, so I do know what that's like, being off for a number of days and then bringing the guys back. And I, not to the extent that, that Brian and, and his guys went through, uh, but we did have an extended you know, five-day break. So I know that, that that's not easy. You know, getting back, getting back, and getting going. Um, is there a, uh, an advantage for you that he had with Ari Boya out of there? I mean, they, they only had, I think, maybe one or two blocks. It, yeah, you, you know, I, t I touched on Bradley from a defensive standpoint. You know, blocking five and a half shots a game. Uh, you know, plus ten and a half on the boards, uh, giving up only 59 points a game. He's a big part of that. Any anytime you you have a guy who isn't able to play, who's playing, you know, I think he's playing around 20 minutes a night uh, with his size and length. That that does impact things, and that's you know that's not taken. I thought the I thought the young guy that that stepped in and started for Bradley tonight played a great game. Uh, but you do miss guys when they're not in the lineup, you know, and he's he's such an important part of what they do defensively. Thanks, Coach.